Hello everyone, this is Derf Sonic and this is how I record in HD. This is my gaming area and I have marked the uh, different items that you see in this picture. Basically, uh, I use an HD BVR to record with a switch box right there, which connects to my Mac Mini, which has Windows XP, which I control with my laptop here. Now being on my laptop here, I go ahead and uh, open up Remote Desktop Connection which connects to the Mac Mini, which is running the software that came with the HD PVR. And at this moment, I gotta refresh it in order to get the signal to start. Okay, here it comes. So it tells me the information, you know, what exactly is being recorded or about to be recorded. And the settings I put are just, I put everything on high. So at this point, I'm ready to just, well, let me go ahead and resize the screen so I can make it bigger. And at this point, I'm ready to just start capturing. And what I'm going to capture here is just a bit of heavy rain, just as an example. So here I go. And there it goes. Now it's actually recording. And as you see, I am able to preview it as it's recording, see how much time it's passed. And that's basically it. At this point, it's being recorded and captured. Now a neat thing to note is that this HD PVR allows you to import your component cables and record in HD and it also has outputs so that way you could watch it at the same time. So it pretty much looks like this and there's no lag in between the two. So I'm able to record and play and pretty much not interfere with each other. So basically I think we've captured enough footage so let me go ahead and make this small and stop it. And at this point we have our captured footage. which should be saved in this folder here and there it is so now that I have my capture footage I have to go ahead and encode it and process it upload it you know that kind of stuff and I do all that on my iMac over here so let's go ahead and get inside my iMac screen so here's my iMac and what I'm doing right now is I'm connecting over the network to my Mac mini which you know is where I just captured the footage here are my videos I'm gonna double check that this is the right video that I just recorded Yep, this is it. So now what I need to do is I need to get this footage from my Mac Mini over to my iMac. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and start transferring it over. This usually doesn't take too long to transfer. So let's see, uh, less than a minute. So at this point, we just got to wait for it to finish. Okay, now that it's transferred, the next thing I do is I take this footage and I actually drop it into HD PVR capture software that I purchased to make it into an MPEG-4, which I use to easily edit it. I don't have to do this step, but I find that being in an MPEG-4 format just makes it so much easier and quicker for me to edit, as you're going to see. So now that it's been converted, I'm throwing away these other files away. There it is, that's my MPEG-4. I then open it up in QuickTime Player and... I'm just skimming through it. I obviously don't want the whole clip, so I'm going to just start selecting the part that I want. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this whole beginning part. Just kind of start with her eyes. So let me go ahead and get to that part here. A little hard to do with this. There we go. Yeah, right there. That's good. So I'm highlighting it. I'm going to edit and copy this, Let's open up a new player, paste it in here, which is the part I want. There it is. And now that I have edited out the exact part I want, I'm going to save as a reference file, which means that I'm just saving a reference to this file of the part I want. It's not saving the whole file again. So it saves me space, quick to edit. And I'm saving that, closing this out. There's my edited clip, and now I'm going to go ahead and take this into my Turbo 264 HD converter encoder thing. It's a piece of hardware, makes encoding really quick. The encoding speed is usually about twice 
the speed that it plays normally or in real time. So uh, usually if it's a minute and a half like this one, it'll be under a minute. Uh, as you see right now, it's going about 45 frames a second. I'm encoding at 30, so it's going a little bit over real time for what I want it to do. And I probably would go a little bit faster if I wasn't in, you know, I'm recording the screen at the same time, so I'm sure that's slowing it down just a tad. But the main point is that it really saves me time, and it's definitely worth having. At this point, we just have to wait for this to go ahead and finish. So let's go ahead and wait for it to finish. Okay, it's done. So all my converted HD videos I put in this folder and it is somewhere here. There it is. So there it is. That is the finished encoded ready to upload video clip. And as you see, that's pretty much it. Very quick. Not a lot of editing that needs to be done. Just chop up, copy, paste and put in the uh, encoder and let it encode. The only thing left to do is to get this video up to YouTube, and I actually have a pretty neat program for that called Dragster. I could drag a whole bunch, or just one like this, drop it in, and that's it. It goes uploading, and it's pretty neat because, you know, I needed a way to do it, and I was tired of using the browser. Of course, I'm not going to upload this, so let me go ahead and stop it. And there you go. That's how I upload it. And that's it. So, that video, if I uploaded it, it would look a lot like, well, pretty much this. And that is how I record HD video. Of course, there are those videos like this one, for example, that you're watching that require a lot more editing and, you know, work. And when I need to do something like that, I go ahead and open up iMovie where I'm able to just import all my footage, edit it, put transitions, things like that. So there you go. So that's how I do all my videos. Yeah, I think that's that's everything. Well, thanks for watching.